Well, my name is Sheyi Akimumi. Um, I'm a lawyer. I'm also a sports administrator. At the moment, I'm the chairman of the Lagos State Football Association and the first vice president of the Nigerian Football Federation. One afternoon, I called um, Pastor Ito Agudala and said, you know what, I have this passion. I started with one, this one child. Now I have about 15 of them that I was paying for personally. And it was getting too big for me because I want to do more. And he says, look, why don't we formalize it? I need to bring it up and let's make it something um, really big. And we did. And that became the Courage Education Foundation. And, you know, from there, it's, it's taken off from strength to strength. The first one uh, is a young lady called Mariam Abdullahi. My name is Abdullahi Mariam. I'm the last child of the Abdullahi family. Um, I have two daughters. Um, I call her my third daughter because she's one of the first kids um, who were involved with um, Courage Education Foundation. Her dad actually is a security guard. Growing up in Ilukweju wasn't easy. My parents had to work very hard for me, for me to get an, a standard education. It was made easy after I met Courage Education Foundation, who actually helped me through my education. I got admitted into Caleb University, Lagos, where I am currently studying mass communication, 300 level. A child who ha went through the same route and also by sheer coincidence also got scholarship into the Waterman. And we really must thank the Waterman for the help um, that they have um, shown over the past uh, years. My name is Wali Ali Musa. I'm 14 years of age. Uh, my, da my dad is a, is a priest, while my mom is a trader. My name is Toeb Muritala. My former school is Kanjusu Junior High School, but now I'm in Green Spring School, um, International School in Lekki. My name is Aruna Adi. I'm 14 years. I attend Green Spring International School. Um, my dad is a coach and my mom is a teacher. My name is Odense Elvis and I'm 15. I school in Green Spring School and I'm in year 10. Uh, my dad is a furniture maker and my mom is a trader. I was there at the Sheyi Akiumi mini tournament, the 2014 edition. I mean, it was very fun. Kids from all over the place, different places came to play together. It was a very nice charity tournament. Last year, uh, a charity event was organized, I think in my honor. Um, and it came about uh, because I was fortunate enough to be elected the first uh, vice president of the Nigerian Football Federation and um, many of my friends proposed to have a party or parties to uh, mark that occasion. Uh, my birthday also happens to fall in December and we we're going to organize, my wife was going to organize the party for me and I, we thought why don't we fuse both, both events. We can get to feed these less privileged people as well as have fun on that day. And that's how we had the um, Sheya Kimi uh, charity mini tournament in December of last year. And it was for specific purposes. One was for, uh, to fund Courage Education Foundation. Two was to um, help the establishment and um, enhancement of Eco Football, which is um, in itself a sort of charity for helping young kids who uh, are talented footballers um, and help them to move on in life, either in football or in education or both. Um, and the third one was to help the rehabilitation of um, ex-football internationals who have um, some kind of illness or ailment that needs to be helped. It will be lots of fun. Uh, last year, I do remember a particular picture in my mind where the um, then governor of Lagos State sat down on the floor with all the kids around him taking a picture. It was, was, you know, it captured the moment. So we really pray that we get a lot of support from people whose uh, heart is turned by the concepts of this um, tournament. But this year's will be 2015. I think um, probably in the, we start from the first week and the final will probably be on the 27th of December 2015. It's a Sunday, 
at the uh, Campus Square Stadium in Lagos Island. Um, that's where we had it last year and that's where we hope to have it again this year. We expect that there will be a lot of people who uh, would come that day with their family to come and have fun.